my friends. Welcome to God Focus this morning. The title of today's episode is Spiritual Strength. I often talk about having faith and strength, but where do we get strength when we can't seem to find it? New Age philosophies would say to look within, but the only way we can find it from within is if we look to God who is in us. Strength can be defined as a state of being strong. There are all sorts of ways a person can be strong. Physical strength means that we can lift heavy objects or work doing physical labor for long periods of time. Mental strength is having the ability to remember large amounts of facts. Someone mentally strong may be good at solving puzzles or problems. And then there's strength of spirit. This is the essence of who we are. To be spiritually strong means we have faith in God to see us through. All of our strength and ability comes from Him. What do we do with it? What we give back to Him is our gift to Him. 2 Samuel twenty-two thirty-three, God is my strength and power. He maketh my way perfect. The Word says He is our strength and power. He makes our way perfect. The way doesn't always seem perfect, especially in the rough spots. It is in the troubled times that we know exactly how much strength we have been given to overcome. When life is easy, we do not need much strength. We may lose track of God being our strength if we never need to access that strength. He gives us amazing overcoming power, but we would never know it if we didn't face things that we need to overcome. First Chronicles 16.11 Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek his face continually. This verse says to seek the Lord and his strength. In order to have strength, we need to ask God for it. We need to seek him in the good times and the bad times continually. Many consider David strong for going against Goliath. It did take a certain amount of strength of character to be bold enough to go. However, David had put in the prayer time. He had spent countless hours building his relationship with God and he knew God would not let him down. He had proven to protect him and allow him to overcome the bear and the lion. David gained strength from knowing how God had protected him, allowing him to overcome in earlier trials. This one was just a little taller with an attitude. Goliath's first mistake was mocking the God of Israel. God is patient and long-suffering, but make no mistake, you are on dangerous ground when you mock God. Any battle we win, any trial we overcome, will give us understanding and strength for the next battle. In this way, life can be like a lot of video games. As you clear a level, the next one gets more challenging. But with each level you overcome, you reap a reward of climbing higher. Every time we overcome, we draw closer to God. Psalms 28, 7-8 The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. He is our strength to fight and stand for what is right, but at the same time he is our defender, protector, and help. We can trust him because he only wants what is best for us. He works everything out for our good, even when we do not think anything can ever be right again. Look at the story of Samson. He was known for his strength. The Philistines wanted to know where this strength came from, so they paid Delilah to find out. Samson and his strength killed a lion and left its carcass on the ground. Honeybees built a nest inside the bones of the lion. Samson came along in his weakness and ate honey out of the carcass. There are many lessons in the story of Samson, but the theme of the story is all about strength. Three main things to take away from it are, one, never toy with the enemy like Samson did with Delilah and the Philistines. He will get the upper hand and deplete your strength. Two, the things we have overcome will nourish us when we are weary, like the honey in the lion's carcass. And three, even in our weakest state, if we ask God, he will give us strength to overcome the enemy. I want to encourage you that even when you feel weak, God is there waiting for you to ask him for strength. 
Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a good day.